Happy late birthday to you. Happy late birthday to you. Happy late birthday, Mr. Connery. Happy late birthday to you. Yes, yesterday it was Kevin Conroy's birthday. And for those of you who don't know who he is, you should be slapped. Especially if you're on this channel. Um, for those of you who do know who Kevin Conroy is, you should be slapped for not knowing it was his birthday yesterday. You're probably wondering, well, shouldn't you be slapped to Ian? Like, I knew it was his birthday yesterday, and I planned on doing a full-on dedication to him, doing things non-Batman related. I did some research, I looked up a, a few of his works, and I realized that he's made a living being Batman. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. He's done a great job at it. In fact, he's probably the voice you think of when you read a Batman comic. I mean, honestly, do you really think of Christian Bale's voice doing that stupid gargly thing? No. No, you don't. You think of Kevin Conroy's direct delivery. That slight snarl and yet dedication to justice and the prevention of harm to other innocents. That's who you think of. Maybe you think of Michael Keaton, but let's be honest. You think of Kevin Connery because he's been the voice of Batman for, damn, almost 20, 25 years? Longer than anyone. He's portrayed Batman longer and more successful than anyone. And even when he started out doing the animated series, he was doing three voices if you think about it. Because you got public Bruce Wayne that everybody knows, or at least they think they do. They think they know this Bruce Wayne. He's a lot more lighthearted, sometimes naive, if not intentionally dumb, depending on the scenario. You know, playing stupid to show that, oh, he's a sheltered boy. He doesn't know what's going on when he knows exactly what's happening in Gotham. Then you have personal Bruce Wayne. That is... You know, the one that Alfred knows, the one that Dick Grayson knows, the one that Barbara Gordon knows, Tim Drake. These people know that Bruce Wayne. Even Selena Kyle finally got to hear that Bruce Wayne near the end of the original run. And then you have Batman. Trust me, more than enough people know that Batman. I mean, you really want to break it down. He's done four different variations. Because then, if you want to jump to Batman Beyond, where he plays old crotchety Bruce Wayne, they didn't bring in some other actor. That was him. And even then, that voice is different than the others. Even when they had the Time Crisis episode of Justice League Unlimited, where old crotchety Bruce Wayne meets Batman, and they speak, there's still a difference in delivery. It's amazing. And I know you might be saying, oh, it doesn't seem like it's that difficult. You clearly don't know theater, acting, performance, anything like that, which is why you're sitting on the sidelines while we're doing the hard work for you people. Bruce Wayne made sure Kevin Conroy. See? See, he's, he's in there so much. You think Kevin Conroy, you're thinking Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne is Batman. It's this cycle. He's called upon more times to play Batman in almost any scenario. When they did DC Universe Online, they called him. And yeah, they called in, you know, Mark Hamill to do the Joker, but I mean, how else would you get that to work? There's no other way. Now, they did have other people show up to voice Superman, to voice Wonder Woman, to voice Lex Luthor. Oh, and Wonder Woman has two voices if you really pay attention. Within the same game. But honestly, when they needed Batman, they called on Conroy. He was there, and he delivered. You would think by this time he would just phone it in, but he doesn't. Neither he nor Mark Hamill. 
phone it in when it comes to these performances. I mean, to jump off Conroy's dick for a moment, if you go and look up an interview that Mark Hamill had at a Star Wars convention, they're talking about wrapping up Episode 6, going into Episode 7, and people playfully ask if he even remembers any of his earlier work as the Joker, which is to laugh. He almost verbatim recreates the eulogy that the Joker did for Batman. That's how influential this series has been. They still remember their work to this day. Even Kevin Conroy remembers a good portion of his better work. He just happens to wear a cape and cow when he does it. Would we like to just once actually see Conroy in the costume, even if it was that moment of like taking it off for the last time to carry on, pass it to someone else? I mean, if they ever do go through and greenlight Batman Beyond as a movie, Conroy is Bruce Wayne. Was Batman? Do it. Honestly, you will bring in Nerd Dollar on such a level. Just, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's not like you'd have to twist his arm. You know, call him up. Kevin, we're finally going to get you on film as Batman. Are you... Ke Kevin? Oh, he's already at the gate? Oh, okay. Start shooting then. That's how it goes down. Enough said. But I do want to state that Kevin Conroy is not one note. But that note he does hit is amazing. Go on, go look up some of his other work. You'll be surprised by what you find. He's played everything from a lovable loser to the bad guy. I mean, a legit hated individual. But no matter what, he will always be Batman. No matter what. <laughs>